in this lecture we will see this model so here we have some views this is my top view and one front view and uh, one side view and the section from bb so b and uh, see this is a b section and bb is cut it from here so that we can see the section view of this part okay it is here and one section aa which is from here so we can create inside portion of this with the help of this so let's start with the front view or uh, if we will create this with the front view see this shape and this shape is different in size it is 80 it is also 80 but here it is 85 and here it is 100 okay and these holes are 35 and here it is 40 so i cannot create this with a single step i need to create in different two times so i will start from here so let's start with the annex so select this sketch and i'm starting from here okay and it's starting with the line like this and up to the center okay now dimension it this is 80 so half of half of 80 is the 40 and again 100 from this to this sorry this is this gap is 40 so it is 20 and again from here to this end line this gap is 100 see here it is and the angle is 130 right and 53 and now let's see what dimension is remaining this this line is moving see this line is moving up and down so i'm just selecting this with this point and make them horizontally align now my sketch is fully cut, uh, defined and define this radius as 10 see this radius i'm asking about this click so 10 is the radius and anything else no rest all things are okay one two three or four holes are there so just click here and the uh, radius of diameter of the circle is five enter five one more five now position it select this and this point this gap is 40 so half of 40 is 20 okay and select this center and this center make them horizontally align and from here this is 20 and distance between these two is 30 here it is okay now i'm going to mirror it so go to mirror and center line is this okay right now finish it and i'm going to extrude it 5 and i have created the upper one so i will mirror it downward okay 5 and it is reverse okay now i will start with the side view <coughs> my working plane is this x is this now orient the view okay I'm going to start from here a little bit deeper again down and up to the mid okay it is not showing no problem now use this dimension and this dimension is 40 half of it is 40 <coughs> and from the stop to this point no it is 50 it is not 50 sorry cancel it and select this point and this 
vertical axis make them constant and the angle is 140 and 85 this length is 85 and anything left yes one thing is remaining this gap half of 40 is 20 so click and define it is 20 because we have started with this upper edge so that's why see it is also 50 and it is also touching with this right so i am going to select this 50 or uh, if we find this dimension any other place then we will make this change now fill it with the radius of 10 here it is now i am going to use circle click the center point is here and uh, 5 is the diameter click and one more make both circle vertically align right now the distance from this vertical axis is half of 35 is 17.5 and distance from horizontal line is 15 here it is okay and the between these two hole it is 25 right and one more line from here to this so that it will create a close entity and mirror connected curve mirror line is this okay right everything is fine just finish it and extrude this and reverse the direction so that it will go inside okay it is inside and unite it and okay if you want to now hide it hide this sketch and come to this the radius is 2 so select inside radius is 2 apply outside is not given so 2 plus 5 is 7 so change it to 7 ok now come to this front plane ok I am starting with the circle click here and the circle is 15 diameter radius and 30 will be the diameter and uh, see here we have see in this 15 is the second diameter and one more one more 20 diameter and BB is from here So I will create this shape with the help of whole command. So leave it for now and I am going to create this one. 15 is a DAR and use this project, project curve and my project curve is this. and close and this gap is 90 and from here it is 45 so first draw a line 
to this and tangent from here to this line and do one more thing try to create this line now make this line as a reference and it is angular from here to this is 90 plus 45 is 135 right now it is on the proper place and again scrap it dimension from the inner edge from inner edge to this point this gap is 45 and from this upper edge to this point this is 45 right now use this frame and trim here now we have to define each and everything so cancel it so I'm not going to trim this leave it like this otherwise my sketch is not constrained finish and use this x2 this time reason bounding this reason and this reason both reason are going to extrude and I'm trying to use this symmetric and the thickness of this is 10 so 5 okay right and again wireframe extrude this circle only so go to connected curve and my curve is this circle shading mode on and the total thickness of this is 30 so change this to 15 15 symmetrically unite okay see this right now hole for hole use this hole and 20 and 15 countable 20 and 15 and counter depth is 5 counter depth is 5 and total is 30 so half of 30 is 15 select this 15 and taper angle 0 and the point is this apply and do the same thing with opposite face okay and let's see whether it is cut properly or not it is cut okay now this cut is also remaining this so I'm going to sketch on this face and I'm going to I'm trying to offset it okay so select this offset curve and the distance is 3 so enter 3 and my curve is this it was the side now it is inside it is okay okay right now uh, this curve is going straight so extend and extend extend right see this is not coming properly exit and I'm going to make some change here okay see this 19 we have taken this 19 from this middle but it is not 19 from here it is from the inner edge so select this and change it to 19 okay rest thing will be the same no need to change anything okay and again go to this sketch double click here now see it is automatically updated and we can trim this or directly you can use whatever or so I am not going to trim it just leave it and select extrude with region boundary curve my region is this second region is this and the thickness is you will find this 6 the total thickness is 10 6 difference is 4 2 and 2 so 2 is a cut which is inside 
and subtract and let's see the preview first then we will mirror it okay right if you want hide it okay the shape is now matching select this and for more we have this mirror and mirror plane is this okay and let's see the result if you want to hide hide it one only one thing is remain see each and every dimension we have used is 5 53 30 and here also 5 2 5 3 all the dimension we have used and here also we have used all these things only this hole is remain and for this hole i'm going to use revolve command okay then only it will come properly otherwise it will create some problem okay so uh, show this sketch no i want this sketch show the sketch here okay wireframe this line reference now this is 5 the diameter so change it to 2.5 and select this line and this line make them equivalent and change it to 20 or whatever you want no problem it is just for my reference i'm going to use revolve command to cut this and select this revolve use this connected curve and my axis vector is this subtract from this reset it and connected curve this is the curve my axis I want to subtract from the body and hide this one right if you want to match it I'll show you okay match this okay it is properly and for this change it and drag it a little bit upper and match it here still hole is remain so drag it a little bit more see hole is visible now see here it is this is the hole for oiling cancel it so hope you understand this how to create this model thank you for watching and have a nice day